Once you have your first scene finished, as I do here, it's time to animate. So I'm going to choose the first word by clicking on it using the selection tool. Then I'm going to move over here to the effects and presets window and I'm going to click the triangle next to animation presets. And I'm going to scroll down to the one that says text and I'm going to click the triangle to open that up too. Now these are animation presets and I want the word to come in so I'm going to use an animate in. Now, there's a variety of ones to try. I found one that I kind of like. You can experiment with different ones. I'm going to double click on this one. As soon as I double click, since I had the word need selected, it kind of disappears on me because it's already started the animation. So I'm going to go down here to the timeline and if I drag along it, you can see that the word need kind of comes in a special way and that it disappears where the word need disappears on my timeline. So I want to go ahead and change some of these preset parameters. So I'm going to go here next to the word need and click the triangle to expand it. Now I can see text is down here. If it's not expanded, make sure you click on the triangle to expand it. You should see an animate one. This is the animation parameters. Expand that. And down here is the range that shows where the first keyframe and the last keyframe are at. So I'm going to go ahead and click this down. And now I can see the first keyframe is right here at the start of it. If it wasn't there, I could click and drag it right to the beginning. But over here, I notice the last keyframe is way beyond where I want this to end. I'm just going to check where that ends by holding down the Command-0 to listen to a RAM preview of the audio. Do you need money for college? OK, now that moves a little bit fast. So if I want to do what's called scrubbing the audio so that I can hear it as I kind of drag along, I'm going to hold the Option and the Command keys on my keyboard and then go ahead and drag this. Do you need? Now I took it right to the end of Do You Need? That's where I want the word to be completely visible. So I'm going to go here to this end keyframe, click on it, and drag it over. And now when I play it back, I'll take it back to the beginning, and Control-0. Do you need money for college? And need is finished. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in the same effect for each of my other words. I'm going to click on money, and I'll double click it. And now I'll go over here to money and expand that down and do the same thing, animator and arrange selector. Now notice I wasn't at the beginning here and so therefore my first keyframe is way here at the end so I'm just going to click and drag that keyframe to the beginning and then I want to go ahead and find where that's going to end so I'll go ahead and scrub again with the option command key do you need money? and there's the end of money so I'll go ahead and click its ending keyframe and drag it all the way down to the end. And now when I play it... Do you need money for college? And of course it, it kind of shows it first as it's getting the RAM preview ready. If I do it again now it should be good. Do you need money for... So I've got money coming in so let me go ahead and do the same thing with the word for. And again I want to start at the beginning to save myself moving that keyframe so at the beginning Double click on the effect that I chose, the animate in. Go ahead and scrub it. Do you need money for I'll go down here and expand four and the animate and the range selector and move that keyframe. And now I can select college and go up here to college and even though I forgot to go ahead and drag this over I'll go ahead and drag this over here to the beginning and then I'll go ahead and scrub and there's college right there and I'll bring this down to the end and now if I preview all of this It'll build it. Do you need money for college? Now, instead of me having all of them start at the same point, I'd like to add a little bit of variety. So I'm going to go back down here over to the first, uh, actually the second one, money. So let's go to money. And what I want to do is I don't want the money to start coming in until that first letter in the word need is there. So there the N has kind of popped in. So I'm going to go ahead and slide the beginning of where money starts. 
And now I'll go over and right where that M has come in, I'm going to go ahead and slide the beginning of where the word for starts. And then I'm going to go forward and see where the F comes in. And now I'll slide the beginning of where the word college starts. And here's where it is here. So it's kind of a subtle change, but you can see you can move the first keyframe where the action starts, and you can move the end keyframe where the action ends, and then you can look at it back. Do you need money for college? Now, what I need to do is have everything go away. Now, right now, it just kind of disappears a little bit too soon. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just scrub this a little bit. Okay, I think right about there is where I want it to disappear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and minimize all of these parameters. So now I can select each one of these. And I'll just hold shift as I click through them. And now I can drag where this ends. And I'll just bring it a little bit beyond where I've stopped. So there's a bit of overlap. And I'm going to go ahead and start the disappearance right about here. So I'll go back through and now I'll choose a different parameter. So I'll go down here and instead of animate in, I'll go ahead and choose something that's animate out. And let's see, I'm going to try the reigning characters. Now I've got all of them selected, so if I double click it, it should add that to all of them. And it did. Now, let me just go ahead and change those parameters. So I've clicked on one, I still have them all selected. And let's see if I can go not animator one, I now want to go to animator two. So I'll click animator two, scroll down here, and range selector. And now I've got this out point way down, way far away. And where I want it to end is actually right. Let's see if I can move it over. Yeah, right about there. So now I can go down here and click on my out point and move it. And I'll scroll down, and I want to make sure that I change all of these. And I can kind of see it grayed out here, but I can't select it until I open Animator 2. And the Range Selector. And now I can move that one over. And, and I'll go through and do the last couple also. So again, not animator 1, but animator 2. This is the second parameter I put on there. I'm going to open the range selector, find the last keyframe for it, slide it over, and go down. I've got just one more to do. So go down to animator 2, range selector, and drag this over. Okay, let's see how it all looks. Go back to the beginning here, and I'll do a RAM preview. Let's see if I get this back to the start, and a RAM preview, Command-0. It'll render it first, which means it's going to prepare all the visuals and all the playback. So you can see the timeline kind of going there with that green advancing along here. It takes a while to build because I've got a lot of different animations in here now. I think it's going to look kind of interesting. So first it all comes together, and then it all starts going apart. Do you need money for college? Come to the Cash for College workshop. So, you need to experiment with the different transitions using the effects and presets, animation in and out, and build your first scene. And then you can use the same process as you build the rest of the scenes in your video.